ripped from the toaster and filled with the essential creative thinking skills of an 18th century musical genius, Mozart Toasties are an important part of an arts-healthy childhood. Studies show that involvement in the arts helps kids increase test scores and promotes academic achievement. Feed your kids the arts. For 10 simple ways to learn how, visit americansforthearts.org. The arts. Ask for more. Brought to you by Americans for the Arts, the NAM Foundation, and the Ad Council. All right, back here, Lenard Field, a third and, I mean, the last up for Farmville. Here comes a pitch in the dirt, ball one. And we had to start a new disc. Three discs, it's a record. It's how long this game is gone. <laughs> All right, one ball and no strikes. Farmville down by three. Everything counts. And it's a hard hit ball that went foul, almost in play. That could have been trouble if it was a little further over. Now being hit, strike number one. One ball and one strike. One and one is the count. Paintner is still in there, pitching for Lunenburg. Trying to hold on to that three run lead. That's all they got. Here comes the pitch, led by 10 by one time. Strike. Another strike. Yep, strike number two. Farmville came roaring back. Was able to get close. Here comes the wind up, the pitch. And this one's a hard pitch. Oh, for and the ball is going to Hoover, but they're not going to get him. I believe that now brings up top of the batting order with uh, Xavier White up to bat now for the. Uh, <laughs> You're exactly right. Osborne made it to first base, just good hustle. Hoover bobbled it just a little bit, and he's playing back on the grass and couldn't make it back to first base in time. And Osborne just flat out ran him on that. Yeah, Osborne's a fast little kid there. But Tom will come speedy. Painter winds up and throws into the dirt. Ball one. Be patient. Be patient. Wow. Big turn of events. Here comes now the pitch. Foul back. Strike one. One ball and one strike. Like I said one time, Lunenburg led by by ten runs. Yeah. We thought the slaughter rules were going to come in effect. Since then they came roaring back. Yep. I've been chipping away at the lead. He scored, sure, six. Yeah. he scored six in the third, <laughs> and then he scored sure, another two right here at the bottom of the fifth. Two balls and no, one strike. Here comes the pitch. Strike. That's an every, strike two and two now is the count. Two balls and two strike now is the count. Painter looks, winds up, and delivers. And that's in here is strike number three, and that brings up the first out. Important strikeout. That brings up Austin Orange. Orange, uh, doesn't look like he's had a lot of success today. He's uh, 0, for, uh, 0 for 3. 0 for 3. Chance, good chance to change his luck right here. Here comes the wind up to the pitch. That one's going to be high for ball one. One ball and no strikes. One, here comes down a pitch, and this one's going to be a chop. Brings up a one and one situation with one out. One runner on board, Osborne made a nice line shot earlier. Pender now looks on the mound, winds up, delivers. Swing and a miss. Hard miss, too. That brings up strike number two, one ball and two strikes. Anytime Farmville needs to get on base, now it is. Now's the time. Wind up in the pitch. And this is going to be a chip up. And third baseman gets under for the second out. He reached that and one. This down to the last batter. But Austin Roach is up. Austin Roach. And if anybody that man we want to have up, right? Yep. With, uh, he's uh, two for three with a home run and a single today. They're coming down a pitch. And that's going to go. to run a second. Yep. They're not going to try to 
Advan mess up and advance him any more than they have to. Now that close this game is. Pantner doesn't want to throw anything too good to uh, Roach. Yeah, then make it a one-point ball game. There comes down a pitch. Hard slice foul. And that goes foul, and that brings up strike number one. One ball and one strike. Dinwiddie American and Dinwiddie Nationals will square it off. Basically, as we come to the end of this game, the boy, it's been a long one. That it has, no doubt about that. Pittner, number 32, Lunenburg, lines up, pitches hard, hit ball. And that one's going to go all the way possible by the center field. Here comes another one in. And they're going to try to get him out and try to uh, do a fake play. And they get safe at second, and the run scores, and they pull within two. That brings up Matthew Fitz. Matthew is one for, uh, one for two, and he walked today. Matthew Fitz is going to represent the tie and run. Ever a home run is needed from Matthew. Now's the time, right? Now what's wrong? Uh, They're just getting a pinch runner. That's all. Okay. Uh, okay. I, I believe. Yeah. Uh, get someone. Oh, we have another protest. It's like really. I mean, protest is gonna happen again. Jake, you gotta be running. All right, Jay. Wow. Twelve to ten, and a field goal will win this ball game. <laughs> I don't think there's any field goals in this game. There. I don't see a football either, but the score looks like it is. It's high scoring one, no doubt about that. Here goes the pitch from hard hit ball, and this is going to go. And that's going to be the third and final out. And Farmville will go home, but boy, did they hang in there. Lunenburg will advance. So, final score of this game, it's 12 to 10, and we got to admit, and I want to say, Really good kudos to Farmville. They have hung in there, and he almost pulled it out, and they didn't give up at all, at yeah. all, all the way until the very, not even to the very end, to the last battle. That was a good Woo! ball game. So, as we will be uh, getting ready to play some music for you, and getting ready to stay tuned, because in about 10, 15 minutes, Lunenburg, I mean, uh, Dinwiddie American, Dinwiddie Nationals will square off. So, folks, don't go away. I'm John Hart, along with, I uh, want to give thanks to Robbie Hart, and, of course, Tim up top, and Jenny that is taking the orders for the uh, DVD. So, don't go away. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Talk to you in a little bit. 